go crazy to you, how I pass you, you know, the, the world's going out, you know, it's the end days, like the brother was going into, like the prophecy and that, this place is going to burn, man, and we can see the signs of the times. And this is, this is what's happening, man. Our people are still just walking up and down, not realizing that the, the Most High is actually judging this earth as we speak. That's right. Do you know? So this is why we need to take diligence and take heed to the word, man. You know, we can't, we can't keep going about establishing our own righteousness when you don't, you don't know nothing, innit? Oh. What's that scripture? Um, he that uh, think he know of everything, know of nothing. No, that one. Yeah, Salakia. Okay. Start on that one, innit? Because that's what it, that's what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. Salakia. Let me get that still. Uh, First Corinthians eight and two. Baba Kasha. Yes. Because this is what it is, man. People, like, they walk up and down, they walk past, you know, you've got two minutes to hear the word. It's like, how do you know I ain't heard it already? You know, but you're still walking up and down like you don't know what's going on. You know, if you really knew and you heard it before, you'd be listening, you know, because this is life. Go on, bring that, King. This is the book. Oh, oh, now, yeah. this is First Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2. Bring it up. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing. He knoweth what? He, he knoweth knows nothing. He knows nothing, man. And that's how we need to be. We need to be humble. We need to we need to be like babes in this thing, man. We don't we don't know everything. We need to still learn, man. There's still things that we can still learn of each other in this truth. Huh. That's why we need to be there for our brothers, isn't it? That's why we need to love our brothers as, as we love ourselves, man. You know, that's why that commandment is there. You know? he, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. That's it, man. That he that he ought to know. He ought to know the laws, statutes, and commandments, but he don't. You know. So yeah, that's what's going on out here, man. So yeah, what's it? First Corinthians three and eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. Let what? Let, Let no man, man deceive, deceive himself. himself. That's it. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool. That's it. That he. May be wise. And he's the, that's what they're doing. They're deceiving themselves, man. That's pride. That's right. That's pride, man. You can't you can't think that you know everything and you know this and know that. It's like, you know, that's what this world's teaching, man. man. So we can't do this, man. We can't do that. We have to, you know what I mean? We have to come back to the law, statutes and commandments, wake up, start being diligent, keeping thy precepts, learning, reading fasting, praying, you know, getting our household in order, because that's what that's what the Most High requires of us, you know? And that's, that's why we're out here, to teach the people, man. So yeah, um, what's it? First one, like, there's an earthquake, 3.6 earthquake in uh, Israel as soon as Biden touches down. So as soon as Biden got to Israel, there was an earthquake. So you know, the Most High, he, he, you can't make this up, innit? You know, so you, we know that things are going to happen, isn't it? You know, you know he's going out there doing all sorts of crafty councils, like what it says in the scriptures, because we're not we're not ignorant to his devices, you know. So yeah, if you want to get me uh, Psalms 18, yeah, brother brought it out earlier. Bring it out again. Uh, Psalms 18 and 7, Baba Kashar. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 18 and verse 7. Then the earth shook and trembled. Then the earth what? Then, then the, the earth, earth shook, shook and, and trembled. trembled. The foundation also of the hills moved and was shaken because he was wroth. That's it, man. And the Most High is angry, man. The Most High is angry every day when these heathens and these wicked people are ruling. You know, that's why the, the earth is in mourning now. Not, not just us as a people, the whole earth. You know, these heathens, they're not in mourning. They live in, they're living good in this, in this uh, kingdom. You know, is that it or not? No. I think that is, uh, God, God. So yeah, um, th th there's been loads of wildfires. I mean, literally, this is wildfire season now. So the Most High is stirring up the angel that deals with the fires and he's going on, he's, he's doing, he's doing madness still. Um, there's a 
wild, there was a wildfire in Mugla, Turkey. There was a wildfire in uh, France, in Gironde region. There was some in Spain and Portugal as well, all different areas. Um, there was a wildfire in Sherwood Forest in the UK, you know. There was um, another wildfire in Yosemite National Park in the US and in Utah. So these are all wildfires and they can't control them because the heat is too much right about now, you know. It's like if they're saying it's a heat wave at this point in time. All through Europe, I don't know about America, but Europe, you know, as you look probably in the UK, I've experienced that this week has been hot. And that's what's happening, man. When it's hot like this, there's no controlling the fires because the Most High ordained it. So no fireman in a, in a suit or a helmet is going to be able to deal with these things. And get, get me involved for sure. Yeah, yeah, we get that as well. Um, uh, uh, Isaiah 47 13, of the show, finish of 40. Yeah, man, do you want to get that? I was thinking of getting it still. Yeah, because no, one, no one's going to be able to put it out unless the Most High ordains it. If he wants it out, he'll put it out. Well, I'll read that thing. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 13. Thou art weary, um, thou art weary, weary, weary in the multitude of those councils. Let now the astrologers, the star gazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and say, thee from these things that shall come you, yeah. upon thee. You got the best people that I see yeah. around you. So, no, 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 so, no, so what, what they're not. saying now is... Oh, no, no, I'm saying that properly, man. But all that's bare on that. It's a lot of run, it's bare misery. But to be honest, we're, we're, we're more miserable than them, do you yeah, see? Yeah, no, but you got the right, now. it makes me more miserable than them, you understand? Yeah, but, you know, you know nothing, nothing's, well, I, nothing's I, I, good. I come, I come past it daily, I drive past it all the time, I see. I'm not just, I don't just go out my way and say something. Yeah, see. no, for real. I'm not an idiot, you no, understand? For real, for I'm not a mug, but you got it, mate. You know? well, what I'm saying is like, you see this place is toxic, mate. Yeah, you see London is toxic, you see the people that they're confused. You know what the man's done for me just now? You know what made me stop and do this? The man looking at me, because I'm riding a bike in the heat, but he wants to pull out his car so far, you don't realise the car is following me. Where, where all he has to do is just pull out his car, pick the bike. Yeah? Where, where is he? And do that. He's down there somewhere, bro. Uh, but all he had to, you know? Why yeah, don't you wait? Why didn't you just open your eyes a bit more? Yeah, it's madness. The whole story. But you've had this. You keep doing whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, no. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. So, you know, when when the man's ways please the most high, he make him feel for his enemies to be at peace with him. You know? It's in the middle you know, of the world, we're man. just here. We're, little did he know, we're more angry and upset than these people that he's seeing. You know? But, you know, it's the, it's the, the vibe, it's the vibration, the, the, you know, that we're putting out. Obviously, we're standing up for righteousness, That's isn't right. It? That's what we're doing out here. Read that again, King. So like, Isaiah 47 and verse 13. Um, Thou um, weary in the multitude of the council. Not, um, let not the astrologers, nor the stargazers, nor the monthly prognosticators. Pro Prognosticators, stand up and say thee from these things that shall come upon thee. That's right. So there's nothing that's going to be able to save save these fires and these people from from what's about to happen and what the Most High is doing in these places. God, behold, thou shalt be as stumble, a stumble, stubble. They what? They shall be as stubble. Right. A fire shall burn them. A what? A, a fire, fire shall, shall burn, burn them. Right. They shall not deliver them themselves from the power of the flame. They shall be. Thou shall not be a coal to the warm, at and to warm at, no fire to set before it. That's right. So yeah, there's nothing that they can do to take away the fire of the of the, of the Most High. You know. And if, and if it's cold. There's nothing to bring them warmth, man. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Either way, you know, nothing's gonna quench the fire, just like uh, in a flood as well. Like, 
you know no, no one can be able to draw the water out and 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 take away the flood you know except the most high oh. okay. this is second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 9 a fire shall go forth from his wrath mm. and who is he that may quench it that's right man who is he that, that, that that's a rhetorical question no one can quench this fire do you know what i'm saying no one can quench it is that it yeah, yeah. Come, come. all right so yeah there was a, a major thunderstorm and storms in in uh, moscow russia like the light, the lightning, and that the, the Most High was lighting up Moscow differently, you know, like a like a display or something, you know. Uh, what's it? Uh, in almost Iran as well, and it's weird how you know Iran and Moscow, you know what I'm saying? Like there's things are starting to stir up in these places now, you know. We know that Russia, that's Moscow, isn't it? They're, that's their their capital, isn't it? You know, oh. and Iran, they're they're in talks with 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 uh, Moscow and, and Russia at this time. You know what I'm saying? So it's you know, this is all coming to pass, man. You know. You read it earlier on with the uh, Ezekiel 38, isn't it? Yeah. About Moscow and uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. And this is that, that this is the, that Confederacy, man. A bus of faggots, man. Yeah. Look, a bus of faggots making noise, look. look. having a rave on a bus. Madness. Black car as well, they're probably doing all sorts of abominable things on there. No, women wearing next to nothing. That's the normal bus. Yeah, man. And that's the tinted out party bus. Madness. This, this is what we just brought out as well, like some as in the days of Noah, isn't it? They as were in partying, marrying and giving into marriage. This is exactly what's happening. It's madness, man. This is the days look. of Noah, look. Madness. That's the bus, man. Madness. That is the bus. You know see that, that they do that stuff. As in the days of Noah, we're building a, we're, build, we're trying to build an ark to go in the chariots. And they're trying they're to build, build a, 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 they got a bus. A, they got a bus to go to the flames. <laughs> it's a red bus as well. It's red madness, bus. man. It's a black bus. So you can't make this up, man, innit? That's safe, innit? And That's don't, don't, good. They paint, don't they paint the demons in red and black? Can. It's yeah, good, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can, can. They do. They do. It's good. So, yeah, man. And I've noticed as well, like, nowadays, there's loads of police, uh, police fire engines, ambulances going past, you know what I mean, in last year. You know what I mean? <coughs> so, yeah, man, things are heating up. The sun's come out as well now, so you know it's going to get even more deep, like, you know? What's up? Um, what's it? There was also storms in uh, Santiago, Chile, and a hailstorm in Andorra as well. Um, where was Andorra again? It's a it's a it's a little country in between Spain and another and uh, uh, France or something like that. I think I believe. That's what I'm saying, man. Sounds up. Yeah, man. And that's what happens as well, isn't it? Our people, man. They start like they start getting heated up in the in the sun and that man. You start hearing of more stabbings, more shootings. You know what I mean? More more road rage, all of that, man. This is why we need to come back to our Lord. Because you know you ain't gonna kill your brother for 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 looking at him or for, for stepping on his train or some stupidness like that. You get me? You know? But yeah, what's it? If you want, can you get me a? Isaiah 30 and 30 for the show. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 30. And Yahweh shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show the light and shall show the lightning down of the of his of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flames of a devouring fire. With um, casting 
and tempest and hailstone. Yeah, you know, tempest and hailstones, isn't it? And flames, uh, storms. You know, it's all happening, man. Everywhere, it's all happening. But this right now, it's a it's a fire thing, man. Obviously, the the, the it's heating up, isn't it? The weather's quite quite um, hot, so it's like you know. When these fires kick off, there's nothing really that can stop them, man. Where it's so hot, it, you know what I mean, it just attracts the heat. Like when bushes start going off and trees and that, it just affects the next tree. And you can't stop it, man. So yeah, what's it? There was another, there was like a, a avalanche. A avalanche, I think it was snow. It looked like snow or water coming down from these mountains in Kyrgyzstan, man. And it was crazy. Still. So when like those whoever shot the video of it, they're saying they survived, but I'm telling you, it's crazy man. And it just makes you wonder, like you know, that's nothing to the Most High, man. Right. To, to for for a little avalanche to come down a mountain and just look like the maddest scene out of a film, it's nothing to the Most High. Right. That's why we need to realize, man, that we need to fear Him more because you know, just just us now knowing the truth and being able to do this we need to fear him do you know what I mean oh shit yeah I see that that's what I mean there's devil worshippers all over man you know look so that's what I mean that was like an MK Ultra devil looking at it. yeah who's, who's talking about the devil you know I want some madness but yeah um, what's it you got anything Oh, these flies are killing it today, still. Um, yeah, so on the other news now, what's it? Um, last week, um, I'm not sure if I brought it out. I think I did. But yeah, Sri Lanka, their economy's collapsed, isn't it? Yeah. And um, what's it? They've, they're, they, they've they, raided the Yeah, the, the, pro, the protesters have raided the president's house. They were all having a party in his house, like all swimming in his pool and you get me trying his clothes on in his clo closets and that you get me so that's what's happening man certain countries now their economy is failing causing the people to rise rise up and not and not and not regard them um if you want to get second edges yeah, 15 16 yeah, yeah come on the show this is the book of second edges yeah, yeah, chapter 15 yeah, and verse 16. Out. bring it out kid but these but there shall be sedition among men and invading one another and thou shalt not regard their kings nor prince and the cause of their actions shall stand in their power yeah so they're not regarding their princes and their kings in it who are their leaders of their countries so you know, you know they're and people and what's it invading one another and we know before they invaded his house yeah they invaded his house yeah of course of course and um, Russia invaded Ukraine but that's there's, the, that's already, uh, yeah, that's, that's already happened. That's already there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. They were part. They were one at once, didn't it? But that goes against. That goes with the um, start fighting against another, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? And uh, what's it? Taiwan. I think China is all in talks about invading Taiwan, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what's happening, really. So invading one another. You know, the people are not regarding their princes and kings. There's sedition among men. You know, all these things are happening right now, man. You know, and you, if you if you don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, then you're gonna be like the brother brought out earlier, just dead people walking around, man, with nothing to, you know? You got anything else on that? No? Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, um, this one as well, like in the US, a lot of infants are starting to get sick with some uh, disease called um, per pericovirus. And it's like, it's been about, but it's like it's happening more and more out there. Like some of the children are dying and that, and it's, it's happening a lot. Like, so, you know, first thing I'm thinking of, in a sense, is this whole baby food thing. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, they took out that they took away certain batches of the baby food. So whatever they've put out there now, they could be contaminating the milk. You 
you know, because it's only happening in like children, like really like young children, newborns and stuff, you know. So again, they're crafty council, you know. Praise to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, praises to you, about Shemuel Shai, because this is what's showing us that this world is evil, man, and these people that are ruling it, you know, are evil too. But we know, we have understanding that the Most High put them in place. Well, that's why you need to be, give your children the breast milk, man. Oh. Uh, women are damn rottenness out here, man. You wanna save your titties? Oh, I want my tits. But I don't care. Madness, bro. Just give the damn baby the breast milk, man. But I don't care because tits, even bro. even when mean? they give, they're meant for, they're meant yeah, for the yeah, that's 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 their whole purpose. The titties are meant for the baby. That's it, man. And they're the not men, for and you. For men, and for the men of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're not for you. Oh, the wicked, the wicked, the that. wicked women. They're for their wicked husbands. But the righteous women, they're, 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 that's why they're... It's madness And here, the man. thing is, when, when men, women... Hey, yo, women in the truth, man. Any woman on the truth that wants caesareans or wants to get uh, that breast stuff, that, uh, the, the, the powder milk, oh, yeah. you need to reevaluate your, your faith in this thing, man. And that's what I'm going to say on that still. Yeah, no, for real. But well, like I was just going to say, like, even when women do breastfeed, man, you know, there's nothing wrong with their with their breasts. How you wicked are you to get a caesarean as well? Man. Yeah. I know women have done that. Man. Yeah, if they choose it, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, wicked, that's, that is that is that is big still. You're gonna cheat. You're gonna take the cheat code and cut the belly off and go to sleep. Yeah, it's not good. That's not, that's that's against that's against the commandments. And the thing is, what, what, what it is, is these, these, these um, doctors, nurses and hospitals, they kind of cheat you into doing it as well. So they they kind of scaremonger you. Yeah, so they Do can you know I mean? take an organ maybe or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sneak man. out a kidney or... You know what I mean? So it is, and you won't notice it, it goes missing. You, know? not, rough, not, yeah, not, you won't notice your kidney's gone. Because you know? you're just going to live without the kidney. Not, are you going to notice, are you gonna notice your, your piece of your liver got cut apart? Or? Yeah. Or even your placenta as well, man. Do you know how much money they they they'll give you them um, like grants for a like percent. You know they'll bid on it. Grand. They'll put your placenta on the auction. They'll go on the black market and they'll, and they'll bid it. Whoever gets it for the highest bid, 60, 60 rats, man. They'll give you sixty thousand now for your baby and your eggs mm. for for a year. And when you have a baby, I want the placenta as well, and we'll give you an extra thirty grand. For the percent, man. There's there's crafty Rothschild guys out there doing this yeah, right yeah, now, man. I know, I know. In hospitals as well. Have, yeah, have, 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 have agreements in hospitals. Shalom. 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 Praise to Al Bashir Al Shah. That's right, man. All praise to Al Bashir Al Shah. Yeah, he's got your hour on his top. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no. That's right. Uh, yeah, um, what Rob is saying about yeah, the. Uh, the, the, the cesarean stuff. A doctor's been persecuted because of he got caught on video um, putting his piece in the woman's mouth when she's under sedation and getting a cesarean. Oh, bro. Got caught on camera and got persecuted, getting persecuted for doing so. Bro, remember the children might be watching. That's the that's the wickedness of them as well. Like that's things that happen. So yeah, but our women out there uh, don't do them things. Do yeah, don't don't still. I don't do them things. What's it? Um, yeah. So uh, what's it? There's been uh, major like long lines in US of, with their food banks and stuff. It's, it's a yeah, that's madness still. Yeah, so you, the US is going like kind of crazy now with like the food banks, you know? Like they're saying they can't, they can't keep up with how much people because there's, you know, they're like you said, they're raising the prices out there, isn't it? In America, 9% or something, is it? 9.1%, yeah. it could be higher though. Yeah, man. In everything as well, rent, you know, you know, tax, everything. Mm -hmm. Food, mm -hmm. yeah, hey, yo, the drought in, in Amsterdam, Netherlands, man. You should see the, the, some of the stores. Nothing. Empty, bro. Yeah, see? Storehouses found empty, bro. That's it. Crazy. See? So, yeah, that's, it, this is part of the famine coming. Go on. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, this is 
second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 22 Bring out. for many of them shall dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy yeah, man. so if you don't die from this 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 famine and pestilence I'm reading the Holy Bible. This is called Second Ezra. It's, it's in there. But, second Ezra, but it's in my Bible. It's not a different Bible. It's the same Bible. Second Ezra. It's the Holy Bible. It's in my Bible. Look, Second Ezra. It's just, it's just dead and crafty council. And now you don't even know Second Ezra, man. Yeah, they took that out. They took that out. It's called the hidden books. The secret books, man. Yeah. And it's this one. It's this red one. All the books in the Bible, it belongs to my church, the Catholic church. Nothing was taken away. I, I mean, Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen. All our books are there. In, yeah, this is so in the Catholic. The protesters who came to uphold the Catholic system, they deleted, removed some of the books. You know the Catholic prayed to Black Jesus? You know that, innit? The Pope, oh, no, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. the Pope prays the Black Jesus, you know that? The Pope will never pray the Black Jesus. He kisses Nigerians' feet. He will never kiss Nigerians' feet. The Pope, the Pope on, kissed Ghanaian men's feet. Hold on, you don't even understand what it is. Hey, yo, just jog on, man. Let me talk to you. No, no, jog on. No, we'll have to... If you're lying to me, you're wicked, you, man. No, the Pope wait. came out and done a big speech, and he says that he is Satan, and he's been, he's been defiling the word. He done a big seminar, and he done a big speech. He was on national TV. And he had a he had a he had a podcast and he says that he has been pushing lies and he kisses Nigerians' feet. <laughs> Which book? What the Pope, Pope Francis for the Pope. Wait, who, who is, who is this? Who is this? Who is that? Pope Francis will never do that. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? Who is that? I don't know. You have the picture, you should know. Who is that? Who is, I don't know who this is. I don't from, know who this is. From the image. Who is that? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? You people are putting things. You people and, uh, should pray to Black Jesus, man. <laughs> like your Pope does. You people, you people should pray to Black Jesus, like your Pope does, man. Listen, listen. And jog on, man. Read yeah. Second Ezra chapter yeah, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, man. And Revelations one and fourteen. Read Revelations and one and fourteen. Yeah, and Second Ezra should be in your damn Bible, man. That's right. Because I've gone to Catholic churches and I've opened their books, and Second Ezra is in there. Mm, they have the books, so I don't know why he's confounded. Second what? Second Ezra. All the books, Jesus Christ. So read it then. Jesus Christ left the church to us, and all the books to the Catholics. The read the Catholics. Jesus Christ and left the truth, left the church to Catholics. Yes, yeah. and he picked Peter and told Peter to be to bear his church. Go, go back and read the Bible. Go back. Like the Messiah says, "Woman, what do you want, man?" He says, he says to his mom, "Woman, what is yeah, it?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm teaching, man. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's how, you know what I mean? A smooth head, bald face. And that's you what tell him. You know what it is? The Messiah, the Messiah always like, left the church to what to pray to Mary. Yeah, the Holy Mother of God. That's a virgin. Gorgeous. Oh, 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 I thought you said that looked gorgeous. Whoa, I was over here. I had to really oh, think oh, about oh, that. Oh, that looks gorgeous, man. Right? Yeah, the smell. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, yeah, what's it? Uh, what's That's it? That's why he stopped because the, he's Catholic, so he's not the friend yeah, that yeah, sent yeah, him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was at some piece of the Catholic team. Yeah. I'm trying to say, we have all the books, but don't know about second edition. <laughs> Madness. But, yeah, but man. They should do, like I said. He's yeah. in there. In there. He looked confounded by that book. You know? Did it? But, yeah, what's it? The, uh, in Europe, there's been mad heat waves still, they're saying. Uh, Portugal, Spain and all that, nearly 38 degrees uh, One uh, since last Friday. I'm not gonna lie, look. They're out here, yeah? Dance giving in marriage, man. On the Sabbath, man, look. They're in the car. They're all partying in the I convertible. Guess, I, guess, I guess who's the driver? Yeah. You have to guess who's the driver. An Edomite. Looking, anyway. I might be wrong, still. You get it? That they're just partying in the convertible, like the same thing. It's just, it's just, a, it's just, a, it's just a big party out here, yeah, man. man. He's so, you know, he's rolling in his riches, isn't it? And or the Arabs, and you know, yeah. the black, you know, these black girls, these, 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 he 
Hebrew Israelite black girls. They've been loving the Arabs. Arabs, man. yeah, because of the peas, isn't it? Peas and cubes. These damn Eves. Ah, uh, sorry, bro. Yeah, no, it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> Someone's got to catch everything, you get me? So, yeah, like that's what I was saying, there's a heat wave all around Europe, man. 38 degrees, one, one place hit, um, I think Spain, it hit 44 degrees on Wednesday. That's crazy, crazy heat, fam. And we're gonna get like this Esau, you know, and his devices are trying to say it's gonna be 30 something, 34 on Monday. So, yeah, yeah, so. And it, remember we were saying about the planes flying low? Yeah, low. Because of the, the, if they go too high, yeah. then the altitude. It's, if they go too high, yeah, the, um, anyone that's taken the poison, if they go above 330, and it's where that is 33,000 yeah. feet. Why is it 33,000? They have to put their numbers. Yeah. What happens? Their blood. Their blood starts to clot. Yeah, co coagulate. Coagulate, yeah. Exactly. And then they start having strokes and they start dying off in the planes, man. So there's been a few there, isn't it? But they ain't, they they ain't brought to, it on the other thing. They have to fly low. And that's going to be a waste of a lot of um, more, more so, gas. And, uh, that's why gas prices might be getting high as well. Mm. Because they got to put more gasoline in the plane. That's right, man. That's right. So, yeah. Uh, what's the it? Is they fly high and they go up and they come down, isn't it? But if they fly it that low for not so long, it's a waste of more gas. So this is um say just from the oh, this is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his veil upon the sun, and the, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire, and men were scorched with great heat, and blessing the name of power, which have power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. That's right, man. They repented not to give him glory. So the power over the sun, man. Uh, the most has been power over on the sun to scorch men with great heat, man. Uh, so the more we come into these end days, the angels and the seals are being unleashed, man. So All right, and, Iraq, the, and the trumpets. And two, and yeah, man. Four, yeah, the veils are being unleashed. The the, 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 the trumpets are being sounded, and the, and the seals are being loosened, man. Mm -hmm. And it's heating up out here. The angels are like, look, man, we gotta get that, that fourth one going, man. Fourth angels like, oh, well, jumped up. Power on the sun, man. Wow. Go on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 43 and verse 2. The sun, when it, it appeared, declared at his rising a marvelous instrument, the work of the Most High. Like what the brother just brought out. It's the work of the Most High, the sun God. At noon, it, at noon, it, at noon, it, it, um, it, Parches the country, okay, yeah. and who can ab abide the burning heat thereof? See again, so it's like you know, it parches the country. Like that's what's happening now with these wildfires, isn't it? It's burning up all the country. Who can? Uh, no, forty-three and two. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's burning up the country. Who can abide the heat thereof? Go on, read, King. Verse four. three. No, verse four. A man. Blowing a furnace it is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountain, three, um, the mountain three times more. How much more? Three, three times, times more. more. That's right. Go on. Breathing out fury, fiery, a fiery, a vapor, and spread and sending forth bright, bright beams. It dimmeth the the eyes. Yeah, man. So you know. Europe and us, we're not we're not accustomed to these sort of heats, is it? No. So when it starts happening, this is where people are gonna start getting bugged out, man. You know what I mean? Things are gonna start happening at a rapid rate, and you know who's gonna be able to abide it, man? Like I just put out, there was a, a a wildfire in Sherwood Forest. I'm not sure where it was. I think it's uh, in Yorkshire or somewhere like that. You know what I mean? So you know. Things are happening, man. Things are happening. Um, what's it? Another thing now. <laughs> this is another. This is like a little uh, article I've got. It says uh, fewer people in the U.S. view the Bible as the literal word of, of God. 
yeah many see it as a book of fables so what it's saying is a record low 20 percent of americans now say that the bible is the literal word of god down from 24 percent the last time the question was asked in 2017 <laughs> And half of what it was at, the, at its high point in 1980 to 1984. So basically what that's saying is from 1980 to, and to 84, yeah, from then to 2017, half of the people have kind of lost the hope in the Bible. Now they think it's just, and then from 2017 to, to, to now, it's down 24%. So basically it's saying, that is 20 percent of the americans actually believe in the bible now that's crazy bro that's crazy so yeah yeah go, says, go on um, uh, you know, lack of faith. yeah 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 because um, no 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 Let me uh this is um what is it, lack of faith? this is first timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. essentially second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 knowing this also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of themselves covetous boasters, proud, blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy mm, that's it, unholy man uh, uh, yeah, yeah. without natural afflictions Truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, uh, uh, traitors, purdy, high minded, lovers of pleasure, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Yeah, that's right. Lovers of themselves, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Second, second, uh, yeah, no. Bible. Verse 7. Ever learning and never being able to come to the, to come to the knowledge of truth. That's right. Now, as uh, Janus and Jambers withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Right, man. Reprobate, man. Like, not all, nothing, basically, concerning the faith. Well, yeah, well, yeah. That's what we got, man. You know, this, uh, they don't, uh, don't care about that Bible stuff. Uh, those Hebrew Israelites always screaming the Bible, man. It's because Esau's done a number on our people. And you know not what it is? Them. Not just that. I'll tell you what it is. Jake's been waking up Israel for so long now. Mm. Now they've been saying, you guys do not belong to the Bible. They're like, the hell with the Bible then. We may as well just be anti-Christ. We may as well be Satanists. We may as well be um, lovers of, of, of wickedness, man. That's right. So, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. That's right. That there's less people getting their dirty, stinking hands on our scriptures, man. That's right. So now That's if right. we do a survey on the ones that love the Most High and read the Bible now, you might see more Israelites turn into the scriptures. Because then most somebody might be asking, because we don't want to do those surveys, let's be real. Yeah, no, 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 we're not going to fill out their things. They're asking atheists. They're asking, and, uh, they're asking the Gentiles. Man. Uh, yeah, the, the, the heathens. It's Esau, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And he's got a freaking name Indian on his top. Yeah. Now, go on, King, bring that one out. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 5 and verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the token, yeah, Behold, the day earlier. shall come. Yeah, yeah that's the coming of the word, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. Yeah. The day shall come that they, the that okay. they which dwell upon the earth shall take in a great number, and the way of, of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Yeah, that's it, man. That's what we're going into. The land barren of faith, you know? Because that's what really it ultimately boils down to, isn't it? having faith in, in, a, in a higher power, in a most high, you know what I mean? So this is why a lot of these people, you know what I mean, are, are, come, are saying they don't believe in the Bible now, because, you know, it's had so much stigma, stigma around it in these last few generations.
that you know people don't even want to turn to it no more you know what i mean uh, it's like even if you try and beat it into someone or try and break it down it's like as clear as a you know that like a five-year-old can understand it plain upon tables yeah plain upon tables if the most eyes and open up their ears and their eyes then they're not gonna get you yeah the stumbling blocks yeah them. yeah like and it could be something as little as like i don't know the, a beard bro, or bro, brass but in a furnace man yeah uh, yeah. uh brass no, when you burn it, it turns red. Right? Yeah, or gold. Uh, um, like a, it like, says white as wool. Right? It's always white. It must have been white. Yeah, yeah. Dumb stuff. Yeah, proper dumb. You know the book is a white man's book. I love the simple things. We love simple things. It's a white man's book. I heard Baba Narkam talking to this guy on the, on the channel. On the channel, on the channel like, it's these two, these two reprobate guys coming up. Man. Yeah. It's a white man's book, man. I don't, are you dumb? Yeah. It's got that. Uh, Songs of Solomon, five and one. Job thirty and thirty. Judah, Judah fourteen and two. Uh, Moses, uh, chapter four. Uh, Exodus four and six. Uh, Revelation, Daniel, chapter nine. chapter nine, chapter ten. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, and uh, seven and nine. There's so many scriptures that say that how we're dark people, man. Oh. With woolly hair. Yeah, so how can it be a white man? Book? Why wouldn't a white man put in the damn blue eyes and the damn the 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 goat here, man. That's oh. why he read it to, to our forefathers. We weren't allowed to read to a certain point. That's why there's that problem about about uh, so-called blacks reading. If you're going to hide something from a, a black man, they say put it in a book because they didn't let us read for until a certain period of time. You know, but now because so they used to read certain scriptures, and a lot of people and don't want it. to read anyway, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, because it's, because it's Isaiah real. thirty, man. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see that. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Don't close your mouth. Don't yeah. talk about yeah. it. Speak, uh. speak, smooth things. They, yeah. they want to hear so something about things. It's something about damn the dark side. Man. Yeah, or oh, damn oh. some drill. Yeah, some what's get, going on? It's dirty, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Still. So yeah, I'm gonna hear about music. The left hand side. Yeah, I've got uh, I think, uh, one more thing. So yeah, bring it up. Uh, yeah, no, what's it? New York, they've been doing nuclear drills. Yeah, and they've basically been putting up posters of instructions, like yeah. in their railways and on, on, on their boards, on, on the roads and that, and what to do if there was a nuclear attack, like if they got bombed. They did a, a video as well. A, yeah, 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 a drill, yeah, wouldn't it? Video. Yeah, see? So even now, like, New York are basically showing the people that, yeah, man, you know, things can go down still. Do you know what I mean? So if you want to get me a bubble chart, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 15. And I'll get this one. Yeah, Revelation on, chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea and of the, of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he have but a short time. Yeah, man, his time's up, man. This kingdom is going down. That's right. You know, and anyone that's joined with them are going down with it. That's right. Straight up. Now bring that out, King. Okay? Yeah, but sure. This. This is the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 15. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid. Say that again. Uh, horrible, horrible tyrants, tyrants shall, shall be, be afraid. afraid. And this is all this, this is what you would call these um, leaders of this world. Tyrants. Tyrants. Them horrible tyrants shall be afraid um, teach. when they do. But hear of me. When they what? When, when they, they do, do but, but hear, hear of me. me. Yeah, so we know that the Most High, even He knows that the Most High is stirring up these spirits on these Russians and these Iranians to start putting things nice together. Nice you get me? I shall, I, shall, I shall be found good among the multitude and valiant in war. That's it, man. And we know eventually that it's the Most High that stirs up these, these people to press these buttons, to make these nukes, to make these weapons of wars, these tanks, these guns. So, you know, this is, and, and that's what it says in um, Proverbs, I think, isn't it? Where it says that the, the, the devices that these lot have invented are gonna be turned onto them. Uh, uh, so like, uh, yeah, but 
uh, you know, so I'm 69 at this point. Yeah, so you know the devices so are going to turn on their own head, you get me? The, the, the table, the table, the table of uh, yeah. So I'm feeling, this I'm feeling, and, and, and three of them. Yeah, and two. So I'm two. I'll get the other. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, and verse 2. The wicked in his pride, we persecute the poor. Let him be taken in the devices that he that they imagine have imagined. That's it. Let him be taken in his own devices that he imagined. So these are the things that the Most High has put in their spirit to imagine. Because remember, he's all about death. He's all about destruction. You know, whoa, he whoa, wants whoa. to he wants to dominate the, the earth and everything in it. But this is Psalms 69 and verse 22. Bring that up. Let the table become a snare before them. That's right. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. See? For their welfare. Why is that? So they can bomb up places and take everything. They can kill off their people and take their riches. Take their their their, their valuables, um, what's it, their commodities and all their stuff like that. That's what they do. And that's not just that. I mean? Like I said, with the CERN machine, yeah, that's yeah. creating sinkholes. Yeah. The nuclear weapons that they think is going to be powerful for them is going to be their destruction. That's right, man. Yeah, man. The devices is going to be their own snare and a trap for them, man. You can't make this up, man. There's precepts for almost everything in the Bible, especially dealing with this carnal world. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I mean, on that one, I think I'll uh, call it. Unless brothers have got anything, you got anything no. to bring out? Really, like, I brought it out throughout my the lessons. That was yeah, good, man. Hard, hard. Yeah, let's let's get the closing up precepts, yeah, man. That's that's it. It. Right? You know what we need. You know what to get. And I was mighty, man. Oh. What are you? How about you, yeah. Shai, oh, for, the, oh, for another beautiful Sabbath for yeah. coming out here and crying out for you, for you, man. For, for, for the Israelites and for Yahweh, for the man of war, Yahweh is his name, man. That's right. Let's right. speed, let's bring it out, man. Right. This, I'll you, man. This is the book of Psalms 122, verse 11. Yahweh has sworn in truth unto David. Alright, let's be sworn unto David. He's got promises to David. That's why he, he left one of the tribes of Solomon, man. Alright, and that's why he's always be a king amongst Judah, man. Go on. He will not turn from it. And it's, it's writing from Genesis, all right, from the beginning. He ain't gonna turn these promises away from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the kingship from Judah. That's right. Go on. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. All right, the fruit of his body, Yahweh Shai, man. He's gonna set Yahweh Shai upon the throne. Go on. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony that I, that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon thy throne forevermore. That's why we teach our children diligently, because it's a commandment to teach That's our right. children. That's right. All right? That's right. All right, bring it up, bro. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 66. Go on. What will ye do, or how will ye hide your sins before power and his angels? Behold, power himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall power lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Yeah, man, the most I will deliver you out of trouble, man. Give me Daniel chapter 7 and 18. The most I will deliver you out of all troubles if you remember your sins, ask for forgiveness, all right? And then you call upon your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. For salvation. Go on, bro. This is Daniel 7 and verse 18. Below. But the saints of the Most High shall but take the kingdom. And the saints of the Most High, they have not done this yet. They're not, the saints are not going to ask and beg and say, everyone come hold hands together. Let's, let's forgive the Caucasians, man. Let's forgive the Chinese, man. man. The uh -huh. saints are going to take this place, man, from uh -huh. the Caucasians. That's right. Uh, go on. And possess the kingdom forever. Even forever and ever. So I don't know how they can think the saints are Caucasians when the Caucasians are going to come in and raid damn England. They're going to raid America. They're going to raid Israelis. They're going to raid the place, man, and take it, man. That's right. So they don't own it. They're going to be. It's going to be taken away from them, man. Huh? That's what salvation looks like. All right. Salvation looks like saints taking the kingdom and owning the kingdom forever and ever. Huh? 
Bar Shem HaMashiach, Yahu Shem. Shem HaMashiach. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 8. And they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. Babylon is what? Babylon is fallen. Go on, bro. It's fallen. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's lifting up. It's standing up. It's doing great. It's fallen. Yeah, man, it's done, man. The Mosai has been making us prophesy and study the times, and we've been bringing it out all day, man. That's right. This place is done. It's destroyed. Right. And Quran Israel. Quran Israel. Israel is rising up, man. Bring out. That great city, because she made all the nations drunk on drink of the rod, of the wine of the rod of her fornication. Yeah, man. And on that, we're going to close out. We're going to give all praises, oh, honor, and, and glory, glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Baharaka, Kadash, Quran Israel. Rise up, Israel. Man. Rise up, Israel. I'm Manawa Allah.